Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Word makes it easy to create a table of contents for formal papers or longer documents. Note the drop down text box at the far left end of the formatting toolbar. It contains different styles of font. If you drop it down, notice that there are styles for Heading 1, Heading 2, Heading 3. We use these heading styles listed to go through the document and select the largest section titles. Those would get the Heading 1 style. Subsections might get a Heading 2. Subsections of your subsections might get a Heading 3 and so on and so forth. Now once you've applied these font styles, it's easy to create a table of contents. So first, let's take this document. Let's say that we wanted to go through and select all the different major topics. Let's say curriculum was a topic. We could select that and then just apply, let's say, a Heading 1 style. And maybe facilities should get a Heading 1. and university and area. Make sure you don't select too much. You don't want to include additional things that aren't supposed to be part of your heading since they will actually show up in the actual table of contents then. Let's say hours and technical electives is a heading one here. And then underneath that let's say comments and observations becomes a heading two not quite as important kind of a subset of the first one and let's say these are heading threes oops make sure you don't select too much so you basically go through your document applying the different heading styles Now once you're ready to create your table of contents, click into the document at which you would like to create the actual table of contents. Then if you're using 2003 or XP, choose Insert, Reference, Index and Tables from the menu bar. If you're using 2000 or 97, after choosing your heading styles, you would then choose Insert, index and tables directly from the menu bar. In the index and tables dialog box, click the table of contents tab at the top of the box. Here you get to select a format from your table of contents. You can choose whether or not to show page numbers. If you are going to have page numbers, do you want them right aligned or not? And if you're going to right align them, what tab leader should you use? For the general template, you could choose Classic, Distinctive, Fancy, Modern, Formal, or Simple. Let's say we're going to choose the Formal heading, and then just simply click OK to create a table of contents at the point where your insertion point is currently in your document. So you can see all the heading ones along with heading twos and threes and how they're indented and displayed in our table of contents. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.